Hi everyone, welcome back to my Let's Play. So on the last episode, we saw that um, Amelia had moved into the main household and we ended up having to take Princess back to the vets. Unfortunately, she got sick again. Um, we also saw quite a jump in Ronan and Amelia's relationship. Oh, so we saw that they became girl. sort of official boyfriends, girlfriends, into fiancé, marries, and because it was also Winterfest and everyone was off, we just sort of decided to go for it and get married on the same day. So that's all happened in the last episode. We also saw that um, they had started to try for a baby and weren't quite successful with that. So we gave them sort of like a bit of time to process it. just didn't happen. And um, during that day, we ended up going with Declan to his first day at work at the police um police office police station that's it police station and we went to work with him for um his first and second day and um, also princess has passed away she passed away in the last episode and we finished up with amelia um finding out that she is now in fact pregnant with our hopefully next heir to our generation oh, ah. so she's here practicing some logic skills victoria is in the latter stages of her sim life so she is 99 years old i guess days old i don't know what my what to call it. um so we have her still with us Clutching on by uh, strings. Also the same for ba um, Bailey. He is an old boy now also. So, I don't know if the baby will be born in time for Victoria to meet her new grandchild. Unfortunately, whenever it came to Jack and Abby, Jack had just passed away as Ronan, I believe, was born. And whenever Declan was born, while um, Victoria was at the hospital, Abby had passed away. Um, I believe that's how it happened. I think that's right. So there has been no sort of grandparents, really, as such. Obviously, now that Victoria would be the last one, as um, Owen and Gavin are no longer here. Off screen, not much has happened. I have been sort of upgrading these houses across the street and putting some furniture in this one as there is a neighbour that lives in this one. This one still remains empty. Um, and the only thing that changed was that Guy, who is Viviana's son, he has aged up from a child into a teenager. So we aged him up and just sorted out um, his look. And that's all we have done so far. So we're going to check in on everyone. Oh no, Victoria Not As Long Life is coming to an end. This would be a good time to get everything tied. Oh my god, I don't want her to die. Oh goodness. So Victoria's just plotting about the house. Ronan is, I think, in a pretty good mood. He works in six hours and he has everything ready for his next promotion. Amelia at the moment does not have a job. Um, we may need to get her a job depending on sort of income as I'm not, I can't remember if the book royalties stop whenever Victoria dies so we'll need to see what's what when it comes to that time and check in on Declan he's had he's having a wee sleep so we're actually going to get Victoria to take this wee guy out for a walk and I think he's he's wanting out so I'll go out on a medium walk. I'll take him for a good long walk. Medium. Because it is cold outside. It is sun, snow, and freezing. So she can take him out while everyone else starts to get ready. So Bonin will be getting ready for work. I'm just going to check in on him. So he needs a shower. So we will go do that just now. And use the bathroom. What's happening here with Victoria? 
Oh no, the weather's changed to blizzard. Okay, so Bailey's also fallen asleep outside, and Victoria's out to bed. <laughs> He's just out the shower. Is he? What's wrong with him? He's using the other restroom. Oh, cause that one's Declan. <laughs> Declan seems to be like our handyman, so he can repair this for us. And he's just walked in on his brother. They've had weirder moments than that. Oh my god. Viviana has just let herself in and jumped into the bath. Oh, don't look. <laughs> oh, for goodness sake. Poor Declan's probably scarred. He's just seen his brother and then his aunt. Okay, I was also going to give Bailey a bath, but so that's not going to happen. And Amelia is having a little nap. So I really just want to focus on this guy for the time being. Everything seems good. Maybe grab him some more food. I think they still maybe have a bit of wedding cake left. Here's Viviana. She never wears that outfit. She's always been in her dress, but she does have more than one outfit. Oh. Of course, it's New Year's Eve as well. And it's almost o'clock in the morning, so let's... I don't know how we can get to do this deck one, maybe. Oh, he's away for a bath. Okay, cool. So let's put up the decorations for this. And he's wanting to get into the party spirit, make resolutions, and count down to midnight. So let's have a wee look. I don't think Victoria will make it to her next sort of uh, resolution. So I don't think I'll do one for her. So let's have a look for this guy. So maybe get promotion. That's our next aim. So we will do that for him. For Amelia. Make a resolution. Maybe raise a skill. Write a book. Let's try raise the skills because she's been working on her logic. So we can get her to do that. And then also for Declan, maybe another promotion for him because he is actually doing good um, in the police force. So let's get him to get another promotion as well whenever he wakes up. It's not going to let me hit him. Okay, that's fine. Oh. Oh, she's got like maybe just the tiniest little bump. So hopefully it is only one baby. Um But there is room for triplets. <laughs> if you oh gosh, she's like you can imagine. So with them um, obviously they would be happy with any sort of baby, but Ronan is looking for boys as that is as part of the not like to say that they are wanting to obviously have their name continue throughout the generations and they are is this this will be generation four right so here we have jack then we have gavin then we have declan and ronan so yeah this will be generation four that um Emilia and Ronan will be starting. Where did they get these cocktails from? <laughs> How funny. He needs some fun before he heads off to work. Oh my god, and he needs to sleep. I think the sleep's more important. Have a quick sleep. He... Wait, what? Oh my god, he's... Oh, because it's the weekend. Should we get him... I still want him to go to work. It's called, I think it's because it's New Year's, he doesn't technically have to go to work, but I really want this promotion. Okay, Victoria has a phone call from Viviana. Um, I don't think the weather is really good for us to go out. Oh, it looks like Declan also has a phone call from the same person, Viviana. Um, does she want to chat? Sure, we can chat. Once 
Oh, I was going to say that once he gets out of the shower, but never mind. And you can also repair this toilet. How do you repair the other one? No. Okay, so we need to get some toilets repaired. He's working hard, so he is all good. Oh my gosh. She's peed herself in his... In the bathroom with her naked brother-in-law. Boss's birthday. So Ronan wants to get his boss a birthday present but can't leave work to buy it. How should he go about it? Make it or order online? Let's make it. Oh, small games. Okay, so she's in the bath. She doesn't need to fix the second toilet as of yet while she's in there. Um, we can just deal with having one for the time being. Uh, once also Victoria um, passes away, we will have Ronan and Amelia move into this larger room and maybe we'll change this room into the new baby's room. Or we could even have it this one. We'll see. It doesn't really matter, like, both rooms are the same size. So let's get De oh, Declan's phone back asleep. I was going to get him to do his resolution. We'll just wake him up. Oh, Izzy will not sleep later. So Declan, make a resolution and we would like to get a promotion at work. She's all good. Amelia's passed out on the sofa. <laughs> Oh, she's got a slight wee belly pop. Let's get her some food. So, Emilia will clean it, spoils food first. I wish this was almost like an automatic thing. Oh my god, she's popped really big. She is in her second trimester. And then we'll maybe get her to have like some leftovers. Let's get rid of them. Hopefully Ronan is getting on okay at work. He is super duper tired. But he has, it looks like, earned his promotion. So that's brilliant that he'll be on level 6 already. Viviana has also come over. So let's get Amelia to invite her inside. Because it's still a blizzard outside. <laughs> Everyone's getting ready for the new year, sort of bells to come in. Oh, and Ronan is home from work. Did he not get a promotion? Oh my god, are you joking? He didn't get promoted. What happened? Was he just in such a bad mood? <gasps> it fell out. Oh, that's annoying. Okay, Ronan, let's just... Oh, but then it's his resolution to stay up for real. Okay, you know what? It's not that big a deal. Let's go to bed. How's Victoria getting on? She is also pretty tired. She It's also her sort of... Aim to stay up. Is it everyone's? Ronan, then Amelia also wants to stay up. As does Declan. Okay. <laughs> so let's get Amelia. In fact, no, we should have um, Declan get off his bum. And we should have Victoria sit here. And Amelia will take his seat. There we go. And Amelia can sit down here. Let me see. No, he's getting into bed, so he's done for the night. We are here then with Victoria. Let's see. It's very quiet. Amelia's watching TV. Uh -huh. As is Viviana. 
and the snow is still falling outside. It's now quarter past 11 at night, so fingers crossed and the night flies in and these skittles can do their stay up to the bells thing or count down to midnight and then all head off to bed. I just want to double check when Declan's due back at work. He's due back at work in 9 hours, so it's probably a good thing that he has not his bed. Oh. There we go, New Year! Happy New Year, everyone! We're gonna have a wee cuddle. Aww. I think they have a really good relationship because I believe that once um, Abby had passed away, Victoria was still a teen. Not Victoria, Viviana was still a teenager and sort of Gavin and Victoria sort of adopted oh, her or were, yes. became her guardians. So, yeah, Peter yeah, was um, yeah, passively. Come on, no, come on. I can't read that. I'm so far away, guys. I'm sorry. Just as soon as. Uh -huh. Was it from a neutral relationship? Oh. Um, with a yep. relaxed parent. I think that's what it says. I can't see that far. Okay, so it looks like these two are off to bed. Victoria is off to bed. Declan is already in his bed, so we are just going to let the night fly past. Viviana is welcome to stay or head home and looks like little Bailey is going to have a wee nap maybe under the couch. <laughs> so we're going to let the world go by until someone wakes up. Look at that blizzard. Oh, so it looks like Amelia is the first one up. So let's check in on her. She needs a bathroom. So let's, um, oh, does she, yeah, wrong person. I'm so bad for doing that, like talking about one person and, um, I'm not even on the right part. So she needs a bathroom, she needs some food and she's still tired. So we'll get her some food since she's eating for at least two. <laughs> and, um, let's have a wee look. She's got a wee bit of morning sickness and she's super duper hungry. Try to get some more leftovers gone. She'll be falling into her third trimester soonish. On well, 15 hours, there's still quite a while then. Well, what happened to her food? Oh, there it is. Let's get her to sit down, have some food. And then, whenever she finishes that, we can get her to go back to bed. Brilliant. So she's tidied up for us and we're going to go back to sleep. And we will zoom through again until the next household member wakes up. It looks like the weather has cleared up now so it's sunny with a bit of overcast. Who is this person out at 5 o'clock in the morning? Michael? What is he doing? Looks like he's out jogging, that's his sport. Oh no, it's not Michael, it's a random. He looks just like... Um, Amelia's brother. These two are sleeping, everyone's still asleep, so we'll zoom forward. Oh, and it's springtime now. I actually want to make, um, I think that we don't have any kids, but I thought it would be nice to have had like the Easter bunny, or like Easter sort of come around. I don't know whether to just do that. Pick it later. I suppose there will still be a baby. Should we do it like here? So if we were to kind of add a holiday on the current date, oh no, so I'd want it here. But then it's meant to be raining. Oh no, we'll make it Wednesday maybe. Hopefully the baby's old enough. 
I am at the holiday. And we're gonna call it Easter. Is it actually label or something for that? What do you guys think? Oh, maybe that one? Oh my gosh. My M. <laughs> my M. My remote. Oh my gosh, I had it. My remote's playing up. My. There we go. Okay. We are gonna. Oh, I can't be bothered with this. <laughs> um. Oh my gosh, I'm literally only hitting once and it's going all over the place. Up one, tiny one. There we go. Okay. Uh, I do not want it to be a day off work, I just want it to be a known holiday. I know Easter technically is a day off, but... Oh, here we go again, how am I meant to get to this middle bit? <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, Easter. This is a nightmare. Okay, so I want Easter to be... Oh my god. I'm about to lose my patience. <laughs> Easter is going to be... The Never Bunny. Oh, come on. Flower Bunny. Um, oh. Uh, Egg Hunt. What else? Maybe attend like a ceremony, decorate the house. Depends. Yeah, I think that'll do. So, we've added Easter. Exciting. So, okay, so we are going to get um, Declan organised for work because he is starving. Cook girl cheese. Surely there's like leftovers. I really want all the leftovers eaten. Clean out spoiled food unless it's spoiled, in which case. Sorry. So he's cleared out that. Okay, yeah, so we'll cook. We'll just make it really quick. Oh no. Damn it. Let's send him alone. Oh, Declan, I'm so sorry. He's going to work starving. So we will normal work hard. <gasps> oh my god! Victoria's dying! Oh my goodness, she's not going to um She's not gonna meet our grandbaby. Oh how sad and she's died in the toilet of all places. And her son has just went to work. Oh my god. I'm going to don't kick her. <laughs> oh no, how sad. Poor Declan, here comes Rim. Oh, Victoria. It's also, it'll also be Leanne's time. Um, as well, because these two are roughly around the same age. Oh no! Oh, where did her stone go? Do we not get a tombstone for her? Wait, do we not get one? Am I being blind? Okay, hold on. Let's just make sure it's not transferred anywhere else but outside. I don't see it. Oh my god, he just took her tomb or her spirit and he needs to leave, like don't hang around. Can we ask for her? Oh, I don't want like 
I wanted them, Victoria, to be buried with Gavin. Okay. I mean, I guess it's not going to happen. So. <laughs> we just need to get on with it. Oh, that's so annoying. So I still actually need to go to the graveyard for um to place the other um tombstones of Princess and this guy. That's so weird, so I am missing three tombstones because I did have either Jack or Abby's stone. I had one of them, I can't remember which one it was. And I believe it was in one of the twins in, um, inventories. But it has since vanished. Oh, there's Leanne. She's sad. She's obviously heard that um, Victoria's passed away. So let's invite in Viviana. She's obviously heard as well. I'm coming around to check on the family. <gasps> oh no! Bailey's died as well! <laughs> what a day! Oh my god, we've jumped from like a household of like five to a household of three. Oh no! Teenager at the house again. <laughs> okay, Grim, can you just put my sons out there mid today and just. <laughs> oh my god, he has work in an hour. <laughs> Okay, so what we're going to do is we're actually going to give Amelia all the tombstones and we're going to go with her to... Michael Bachelor's wondering if I want to come over. We probably could, Michael, let's be honest. However, we have Viviana here, but I think she could maybe um go home. Right, so I'm going to empty out these tombs. We'll visit Michael. Probably tell him the good news. She's probably not even said to him that... um. He's going to be an uncle. So we have Princess here. So we're going to move her into here and also the yoga instructor, I guess. Michael is wondering if I want to come over. Yeah, sure. I am wanting to eventually upgrade Michael's house with the money that he has, so hopefully it will look very similar to the two other houses in the street that have been upgraded. Um, and he is just on a very small lot, so it might end up being a one bedroom house, maybe one, two at a complete push, just because it is such a small piece of land. I can't believe that's just happened. <laughs> and she'll be about to sort of fall into her third trimester fairly soon. So here she is here with Michael. So let's um, share big news because he's obviously wondering why she has a bump. Lissa <laughs> Dib. Rabuda. Kagamara. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> oh, Womberg. I feel like my god, I can't believe it. 
We'll invite him to have a bit of feel. And there is baby boy or baby ghetto. <laughs> So let's see if we can give him an engaging story. Admiration. Clean about so. problems. Uh, <laughs> Fibna, Ask Fina, for advice. Fancy Jongi. Ah, when smartest. To a quink, Kuzip. Oh my goodness, her um, trimester oh. thing was sort of pulsing. Oops. Okay, I think my remote or I keep calling a remote my handset. Oh, Third trimester in three hours, so in three hours the baby will be due at absolute any time. So as much as it was fun hanging out with Michael, we do have a few stops to go to. So we are going to travel to the pet cemetery first. And then we will stop in at the Newcrest Cemetery, where the other members of the family that, ha that have them passed away are resting. Okay, so back here, Brindleton Bay. Oh, it looks like Michael's coming with, not, yeah, it's Michael, Michael is coming with us. Um, so, I believe this is where the graveyard is. Here we go. So <laughs> he did come with us, that's nice. He's probably not wanting to leave her alone because she is um pregnant, okay. I'm so sure this is where the graveyard for the dogs were. Am I completely wrong? I thought there was a dog cemetery here. Oh wait, is this it here? Yeah, this looks like it. Okay. Oh, is that like people are buried here as well? Let's um, make our way down. I don't know what he's going to do, if he's going to stay or not. Ah, uh, he's coming. He's not wanting her out of his sight. <laughs> so we'll speed this up. She's still nice. Disappeared to toilets, probably. So Declan did not get yet his promotion, but that's okay. He's also come home to see that his mum's like no longer here. Mm. Oh, so it's it is pets, okay. So I'm trying to think where we should put um our two, maybe both next to each other over here. Or 
How can we not? Maybe we can't. Okay, it looks like we can't do it, so I'll probably need to organise something off um off screen for that. Oh, okay, so this is a total waste of time coming all the way over here. Return to active lot. So yeah, she's had enough, she's wanting to head back. We are going as fast as we can. She's now in her third trimester, so baby is due any time now. Oh, look at that sunset. That's so pretty. Okay, so we're actually just going to take her home. And maybe we should get Declan to do it instead, since it's probably going to be a wee bit too much for her. This week I sleep in oh it's a stray. Oh how sad. You know what? I've been thinking about this baby that Amelia's having and I think it's gonna be a ghetto. We're just about to jump back into the main game. We will see Declan after his day at work. Here's Declan here. We're going to get him to. Well, Amelia needs a bath, so we're just going to leave her get a bath. He needs someone to talk to, so maybe he should call up Viviana and just ask to talk to her. Chat. I can't believe we didn't get a. Uh, that's really annoyed me. Unless she's like under the house. <sighs> See how Bonin is getting on at work. He is back. Oh my gosh, he's just locked down on her again. He is um, set back up to get his promotion. Declan, let's have to see what happened to him today. He's just short of it, so hopefully we can go to work with him in the next few days and he will be able to get his promotion. So his knees are pretty good, so I'm going to get him to cook some dinner. So let's serve dinner and we're going to go for grilled cheese. I mean, look at that bump. <laughs> I still think there's only one in there, and I think it's a ghetto. That's my thoughts. We'll, we'll end up with them. We'll have to see very soon. But she better get some sleep before the baby comes. Declan can organise some food for the house. He must feel like he's completely third wheeling since this is like Ronan's house with his wife, and they're going to start having their family, and he's just there. Sort of coexisting with them. Okay, so he has made some of this. Let's get him to repair this. And we will also mop up this puddle. 
And Bonin should be home any minute now. Okay, yay! So he did get his promotion. Um, I do want him to become a chef, so we will go for the chef route. And he's now home with his new promotion. So he is now... What is he? He is now a head caterer. So he will now make an additional 9 simoleons per hour, with a grand total of 52 per hour. He has also received the following bonus of 691 and a knife rack. His next shift is Monday at 3pm. So hopefully the baby's born before then. <laughs> And he needs some food, so we'll go get some food. Tuck in. This Declan has just made some. Maybe he can talk to his brother. We'll throw this away. And throw this away. Here we see this. Oh, he's away for a bath. Fair enough. Oh, it looks like Amelia is... Oh, she was awake, but she just went back to sleep. Oh, she's at the bathroom. So she's quite well rested. We'll grab her some food. What she's getting herself. Declan's trying to float in the aisle. I was going to send him straight to his bed anyway. Cool, so we are now just waiting for the arrival of Baby Knot. So hopefully Amelia eats up, she's well rested and she'll be ready to start um, being a mum. So maybe actually since she's awake and she is sort of free to do stuff, maybe if there's anything that's been cleaned, because I was thinking about getting like a maid just to quickly run around the place. But if she's free and able to do it just now, like that sink definitely needs cleaned. So she could clean that and bend this. And then if there's like anything else lying around, we should maybe sell the dog stuff because we really don't need that at the moment. But the sad thing about getting pets is whenever it's time for them to go. So we'll quickly jump into buy mods, select the wall and sell, and sell, and sell. And I think that was everything that was sort of dog related. We can take down these lights. And I think Amelia's pretty much tidied up the house. She's just this one little bit here. We'll maybe put this away into the leftovers just so they don't go to waste. And sort of redo this bedroom and make it Amelia's and Ronan's own little haven. Cool, so she has tidied up the place already. I'm going to send her back to bed. Just so her energy is completely through the roof. Is she feeling flirty? Yeah. <laughs> She's also needing the restroom, so you will get her to go to that as well. I'm sure the last thing she needs is to be wetting herself while she's in labour. We're also going to get Ronan to get up, have a shower, have some food, just so he's also ready for the baby's arrival.
it's now nine o'clock in the morning. The mail has come. <laughs> so we're going to get Amelia to just pay that off. So 1,582 simoleons, which is good because they have 520, no, 5,000, sorry, 22. That totally wasn't the number, it's 5,220. I'm just having a bit of a minute. And she's also hungry, so let's get her some food. And we'll get her to sit here on the edge. And maybe like talk to Ronan about stuff. Discuss food flavours. Tell engaging story. He's bursting for the restroom. Should we get him just to go? Oh, he can like stay for her stories. His restroom is that Declan up? Yeah, Declan's now up. So he has work in like three days' time. We're gonna have some fun. Oh, Amelia's got sword back. So hopefully she will go into labour soon. I'll maybe send her back to bed just to have another sleep. I think the baby will be coming soon because she seems to be needing to go to the bathroom quite a lot. Oh my gosh, Ronan has work soon as well. So Declan, hey, I need to get out of the house. Do you want to join me for lunch at Shea Lama? I mean, that would be really nice, but I really want this baby to be born first. And he's going to need to be here for her if she was going to labour while Ronan's away. So let's wake her up now. Go to the bathroom. Ronan has work in our house. He, he's getting on okay. Not long now. She's going back to oh she's going to back to give her a little cry. Oh <laughs> I also just want to make sure that um, Leanne has not passed away without us knowing about it. So we need to go to here and no, so Leanne is still around. And Ronan is off to work. Oh my god, I never even checked what he needed for his work. She's seen him with so bad. Oh, so you're we off. One cooking skill and one gourmet cooking skill. So I mean, it's not that bad, but... Is she not well? Mm. No, she is okay. <laughs> I wonder if she should go on like the sad line website or something. Blog about feelings. Oh, she's going into labor. Oh my gosh, guys, baby's on the way. So we are going to get her... Oh my gosh, she's tired. So typical. We'll get her to go to the bathroom first, and then we will head off to the hospital. Um, 
and we will get Ronan to meet us there. And if Declan could fix the sink for us, that would be amazing. Okay, so that's her done. So we'll let's get this baby here. So... Have baby at hospital. Join. And we're having Ronan join us. Right, off we go! Oh, she's not one to go just out. There we go. Okay, we're here at the hospital. We are both here. She is not messing. She's going straight to the operating theatre. <laughs> oh, here's a ghost here ready for her. So who's this? Oh, that's a lady. No, it's not. Is it? Yeah, it's totally it. Okay, we're going to have our baby. Ronan, get your butt over here. <laughs> here we go. I think it's a girl. And... What is it? <laughs> oh my gosh, it's a boy! I did not think it was going to be a boy. Okay, so let's have a look at names. Well, Dio. Let's go for a seal. And it was only one. <laughs> oh, that's so nice. So we've got our first baby boy and our next heir to the Not Legacy. She's just tidying up the place. There we go. So hopefully this little baby brings a lot of sort of happiness to the family now that you know there's now a new life to look after and sort of change their focus from what's happened like over the past sort of day or two to now and we're going to, need to start decorating one of the bit well two bedrooms we're going to, need to start decorating but I will do that off um off screen. Right, we are back, and where is our baby boy? 
he is right here next to Amelia's side of the bed. So we are going to feed him and change his diaper. And he's all happy now. And sent her to the bathroom. And we're going to get um, more choices. Show off to Declan. So he's going to show Declan his newborn baby. Oh, and Amelia's standing right in the way. She's probably like, will you hurry up and change him? No, you need to change your son's dirty nappy. And we'll get um. Do we just get Declan to give him a little bit of a cuddle, just so he can introduce himself? Aww. How sweet. Oh, what a fish. For me to finoy kid up. For me to happy am nubo. Let me cuddle. He threw away to bed. There he is. The monkey outfit. <laughs> right, guys, so I am going to tie up this stream here. Thank you so much for joining and I will see you all again next time. Bye! <laughs>